Hi guys, Matt Easton here, Scholar Gladiatoria. So um, I'm looking at kind of affordable or budget low-end um, knives uh, and what I've got here is a Whitby uh, hunt, fixed blade hunting knife. Uh, it has a stainless blade. Um, we don't know what kind of stainless it is, it doesn't describe on the blade. So who knows, I don't know, probably somewhere online someone has asked what Whitby blades are made of and someone's uh, found out, but I don't know I'm afraid. Uh, it's a fairly standard design um, hunting knife, it's got a blade of about 5 inches long, um, it's single edged, it has a false edge ground into it, a bit like a small bowie, um, but the false edge is not sharpened. It came moderately sharp, but I had to sharpen it with my DC4 stone myself, and it is now holds a very good edge and uh, has kept an edge um, being used for various um, kind of jobs about the house and uh, you know on relatively soft materials, uh, card, wood, string, things like this. Okay, um, the uh, thing that actually drew me to it uh, is that it's got very nicely uh, patterned wood on the grips. And uh, it was relatively cheap, it was around, um, I believe it was under, t I think it was about 19, 20 pounds. Um, I bought it a while ago. Um, and uh, yeah, really the wooden handle I thought was really nice, uh, really attractive for the price. Um, it's a basic stainless blade, it's never going to be the best quality in the world, but for basic jobs um, it, it will suffice. Um, the grip scales are secured by rivets. Um, one there, one there, and then there's a separate section, much like a bolster, but it's actually made of dark wood, with another rivet through there, with just a little metal separator. It's a full tang, you can see the tang front and back. Uh, it is not, uh, the, it's not a tang hidden inside uh, sort of um, an outer uh, plate or anything like that, it is a full solid tang, so it's a very strong construction, and you've got an eye in the pommel there if you want to put a cord through, like paracord or something. Um, to uh, you know, to so you don't lose it or anything like that. Uh, if you want to, I haven't chosen to. Um, also, it comes with a fairly nicely made uh, real leather scabbard with a little press stud uh, to keep the grip uh, in, so it doesn't jump out. Uh, if you're doing jobs whilst out camping or hunting or whatever you're doing. Uh, out in out in the wild. So there we go. It's made by a British company, Whitby. Um, I suspect that they're not made in the UK, but I don't know. Uh, as I'll reiterate, I don't know a lot about the company Whitby. Um, one strange criticism I would have of it, incidentally, is that the name Whitby is not put on the blade very straight. <laughs> and uh, I, maybe they tried to line it up with a bolster, but if I was doing quality control, I'd reject that and ask for the uh, name to be re-etched on the blade. It's a bit wonky. But, uh, but anyway, for what it is, and the price that it is, it's a serviceable and strong little um, sort of field knife, hunting knife. Um, seems to keep a good edge, sharpened fairly easily, and it is full tank construction, so it's fairly strong. So there we go, Whitby knives. They can be bought from various websites online right now. Cheers.